to it. Yeah, it's really slow, but it's good. Oh, he's not And then we work them, you know, we typically let them go back out there, but we're going to put them back in there where those guys are. Yeah. You got a good little hidey hole now. Hey guys, Dusty Baker of Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. We are here at the Dunbar Place at Mom and Kevin's, and uh, it's time to work our bison. Spring Roundup right here. Got our man where it all began right here with Dunbar. He's six years old now, and um, this is the biggest he's ever been. I can't wait to weigh him. Hope you guys are ready for another bison working video. Come on, don't go that way. You know where to go. Go, go, shoot, 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 shoot. Watch it, Joe. Yeah. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Get over that. Go, go, go. Come on. Come on, buddy. Go. There you go. Where? Question mark, I guess. Get it, Kev? Yep. So thick. It's like you kind of question if it really goes in because it's so thick, you know. Five inches of hair right there. Yeah, this is Eleanor's. He's got one laying out there. Ready? They just run so hard. If you come over here, you can see on this head gate, I kind of like to leave some a gap, but it slows them down because if you've got it wide open, they'll just run all the way through and smash their skull, nose, and so we, we hold it right about here where they can't run all the way through it, but they see it, slows them down, and then they have to stop, think, and then you open it, and now they can take a step or two forward it's way easier on it's way easier instead of full bore you know linebacker hitting a gap same when they're doing that <laughs> you can see a little bit of that slight bend yeah that's what i was saying it's been bowed out these three in the middle he's been down this road Yep. 
shoot, 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 shoot. Here he comes, here he comes. Okay, wait. She's okay, let's get him. Where's Chandler? Right here. 1530 Chandler. Is that what we ended up being? Yeah. Well, figured. 1530. It's not bad. He's, he can still gain some weight, but biggest he's ever been. I want to say he weighed 1400 something last time, last fall, but. That old head's getting a little bit bigger. <laughs> Got Kevin on the camera over there. Hey. That old hair is thick. That old hair is thick. Come on. Hey, you know how he is. He gets his head down. What's up, buddy? There you go. Oh, boy. Hey, you grew up on feet of bison? Russ, you want to come over here and get a picture with him? I don't think you've ever got a picture with him. Come on, hurry. Come on. I'll get you. Give me the photography mode. Yeah, no. thanks, Jerry. Thanks. <laughs> got him? Sorry. Just one at just hold it with your finger. Just reach out there. All right. You ready? One, two. He looks bigger than 1580 or whatever he was. He sure does. He looks bigger. 1530, what I say he was? Was it 30? He looks bigger than that. Whoa! Got you. you giving her this? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Sorry. How'd she come loose? Good so far. Got all the bulls taken care of. Got three cows left and then calves and that's it. Smooth. Don't jinx us yet. <laughs> all quad paws. Catching three, all slides open. Okay, watch it. Ah, better hurry before she. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna open this back up. We don't have to worry about weight, we can work them all. Is there one right there? Oh seven. Oh, oh, that's no, that's just quad paw. First, first quad paw. Did you already get her? Yeah. She's good. Uh, 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 yes, that's what she weighs. Pressure. Look out, Kevin. I need a hammer or something.
Okay, hold on, let me draw this so I don't have to make her sit there. She's locked in right there. One, two. Oh, it's stuck. Okay, I got it, got it. You ready? She's big. Slide. Here they come, Jerry. Got him. You got him. Yeah, you can open it back up. Here, open this tub up. If they need to turn around to come back, it's okay. I think they can turn around in there, Dusty. Yeah. They're going to turn around all yeah. the time. Oh, okay. They can turn in there, yeah. So we'll just have to so cut here, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I th we committed to running it back. Uh, well, yeah, we b better do it now. Will you open those slides? Should have been a little bit more patient. I looked at Jerry and we were like, yeah, I'll just let him through. We'll get him again. I really want to get the weight on him. I, I like to get the weight on them. You make it work. Once in whatever. Yeah, that's it happens. Right, yeah. That's the first time that's happened, I think. Unless <laughs> you want to. No, I was just, I'm, I'm just trying to be the, you know, the ready. And off. Open, open this up. Her left, right? Right, yeah. Her left. <laughs> 250. 250. I get it. Is this right? Is this the right That one is what I put second. Is this a bull or a heifer? It's a heifer. Oh, it's, oh, it's the big heifer. This is the biggest, this, you, you the biggest give, heifer? You give both shots? Nope. 
Uh uh. Yeah. Which one you giving? Okay. Ready, Kevin? Sorry, Joe. Took off without you. That's right. Last one. Last one. You ready? That's cool. Oh, bully, bully. Bull's right here, right? Yeah. Yep. Right there. Yep. All right. Thanks, buddy. Last one. Last one. Yeah. Them, top, them last two are good sized calves. I just opened it up. They can get out of that hole and kind of get away from people. Okay. I'm going to chain this up over here. You're going to let them run in this, aren't you? Man, that was fast. It's the quickest working of bison we've ever had here at the Lynch residence. Mom and Kevin's. Um, everything went really smooth and you guys know and have been following me for a long time you know it doesn't always go this smooth this was our fifth year to work our bison here and uh, this is uh, basically come may is our fifth anniversary of when we started in may of 2018 so kind of a cool moment to finally get to a point where we feel really comfortable you know you work hard on all these pins and you make adjustments every time you work them and then it just finally goes smoothly. And part of that really that makes the biggest difference is we've got really good help. We've got people that come here and have had experience working our animals, but also people that have worked cattle and worked other different types of livestock. Like Joe works with my stepdad, Kevin. They work together and that's what he does as a career. So it's having people like that in here helping me run uh, the squeeze chute and tagging and giving vaccinations. It makes things go by faster because if you don't know this, we try to get these animals in and out as soon as possible. It doesn't always work like that. The calves are the slowest usually, but um, overall, very happy about how everything went. So uh, we got five calves worked. We got the Dunbar herd work, which includes four cows and Dunbar. Now, there is something I failed to mention. The only one that we couldn't catch, and I have to give all the credit to Kevin, actually, we caught the calves, and then Kevin caught the Dunbar herd. He caught the two bulls we got worked and has been moving around basically to get them prepped so we could work them. But there is one that always gives us problems and stays in the pasture and won't come up. You guys can take a guess who it was. It's Eleanor. So Eleanor is basically out in the pasture all by herself. All the green grass she wants to graze is all hers. And I know some of you will like that because she's, she's doing her thing. She's in her own space, in her own world. She's happy. Um, but eventually, we got to work her. She's got to get her vaccinations. You know, the parasite control, the dewormer, those things. Uh, we just give them two vaccinations this time of the round. So we'll eventually get her. But Anyway, we're headed to the Ponderosa now, and we're going to start working that herd that is, uh, I think we're up to 40-something over there. Doc is going to meet us there with his hydraulic squeeze chute system, and we're going to get to work over there. I need, I need to thank uh, Cole and Chandler. They both made it up here this year. Cole's back is way better, and he's not injured this year. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but anyways, uh, it was so nice to have Cole and Chandler because... I can basically put all my focus into the people that are helping me work them. And obviously, the main focus is those bison. And we could get them worked in and out, and Cole and Chandler can uh, do their thing. So all the great camera work that you see is from Cole and Chandler really uh, getting those shots. And they're moving around. And those bison are moving around fast, and so they're moving to get everything that we need for our film to bring to you guys. So thank them for their help today. Thank all my help, my wife. Marissa jotting weights down and all that stuff. My sister's watching Brooks. 
also want to thank some first timers jerry and his son eli for coming and helping they did a great job i think all the people involved in this, and I think what it take 40 minutes to work with the bison, Maybe. which is, that's the fastest ever. And it's not like we have a whole bunch of bison, but for us, for doing this, I think it was pretty fast and everything went great. So with that, um, we're kind of at a question what we're going to do with Dunbar. We really don't know what we're going to do with him. His weight was what? What was his weight again? 15, mid-15, mid 15, yeah, 1,500 something. So he's six years old. He can still gain some weight. He can still get bigger. And so we don't know where his weight will go, but I, he looks really good right now. And uh, it's good to see that with Dunbar. But, you know, one of the things is Haas is highly outnumbered. He has way too many females. And so we've been talking about what we're going to do with Dunbar and uh, you know he's only got four females here so I don't know you guys let us know what you think uh, about Dunbar what we want to do with him but um, we got some things to think about and uh, we think he can uh, spread his love a little bit more than you know having four or five females around so anyways we're going to head to the Ponderosa and get going there we'll see you guys next time oh Dunbar he's been running the fence over here yeah he's been he's Hey girl, you want to come in for some snacks? <laughs> She's just like, no, I got all this pasture to myself. <laughs> That's roosters.